The UK three division have been sent to try and retake it. Well, that's the scenario being played out at Copehill Down today. Excellent training encompassing air and various sorts of armoured infantry. They're attacking from the flank and trying to concentrate the enemy fire. There are challengers from King's Royal Hussars, accompanied by Rourke's Drift Company Royal Welsh in their warriors. In the air, Wildcat and Apache from 659 and 633 Army Air Corps. A Trojan breaks through the berm. The challengers then can flood in and the troops take the houses. The, the training element's fantastic and the feeling is, uh, as a, from a commander's point of view, is uh, pretty impressive. To be in charge of, uh, of one of these is um, it's quite a heavy responsibility and it's uh, something I really enjoy doing. Phase three, consolidation, securing objectives and clearing the buildings. I came out giving support fire to the top windows. Uh, my section commander took the rest of the section in um, to clear the bottom floor after the first section went in. Um, and then we went upstairs and we gave fire support over to the second building, which five platoon Glen cleared. Soon, it's all over. Well, this is the Trojan armoured engineering vehicle that we saw smash through the defences earlier on. That part of the day is now over, but there's still plenty of activity here at Copil Down. Form of 200 or so army cadets. They're here to learn about STEM, science, technology, engineering and maths. Specifically their place and value in the real world. Good to get the cadets to see that um, it's not just a school subject, it's a subject that's got a real world application both civ civilian and military. And the youngsters seem to be enjoying their visit. It's been good because you get loads of more like new experiences just to see like things that you wouldn't normally see. I'm quite interested in cars and stuff like that, so I think I'm, I'm going to become a driver when I'm older in the army. So a really good opportunity for young people to find out about STEM and the military, and for the military to be put through their paces.